morning everybody got my friend Pedro right there got my empty trailer back here we're getting ready to get loaded I wanted to show you something is it still there or has it melted already I can't see from down here this is definitely still here take a look at this genuine frost Got a little cold tonight. Round number two, locked and loaded. This guy keeps ruining all my shots. Seriously, every day. He's always standing right there too. Those of you familiar with Southern Manitoba, uh, this is Highway 14. Highway 23 runs up there parallel. This is a little further south. Uh, 75 Highway runs across in front of us there. The border is over there, and it turns into Interstate 29 at the border. Buxton, North Dakota. You ever heard of this town? I haven't until yesterday, even though I've driven past here like a million times. Here's my exit. We're about to get these rolls off my trailer and head back up. I think I might be the first one here today. I was very on the ball this morning. I am not the first guy here. We're going around to the right. I saw Pedro's truck over there already. He beat me here, which makes sense. I forgot that he had left before me. Actually, no, no, I left before him today. But I stopped at Tim's for breakfast. And I guess he came straight here. There he is. Oh, he's empty already. He's got that purple uh, Kenworth T680. Love that truck. He got a new headache rack and new stacks on it. It looks great. Quickly go say hi to Pedro before we start unloading. You beat me here. This is the famous, infamous, the all-knowing Pedro. I'm trying to fix my broom so I can fly. Uh, <laughs> I'm in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get myself unloaded here. You beat me. I stopped at Tim's for breakfast. I thought you had maybe a meta food or something. Almost. I sat there and ate my breakfast sandwich. It was delicious. They have like a big giant poker that pokes right into the middle of these rolls. That's how they pull them off of there. I don't know visit with Pedro for a bit here. Pedro, are you from Paraguay? I think so. You think so? Something like that. <laughs> do you speak Spanish? I do. You do? Oh, I don't know. Do you speak German too? Uh, yes. Low German, right? Uh, both. Both? So you speak English, you speak Spanish, you speak Low German, and you speak High German? I speak English. <laughs> wow. Por favor, amigos, síguenle en su canal de YouTube. Es super espectacular. I know he said something about YouTube and spectacular. He must be talking about himself. No. Oh. <laughs> one and only famous fucking dog. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And look at this. He got this new headache rack installed and painted black. Looks nice. And the new stacks out at the back there. Big reveal. The big reveal, yeah. I haven't done it yet. No? That's okay. Your father is good to see it. Oh, you see, you get special access. Unless he tells me later not to, then I'll cut this out. <laughs> but yeah, this is his. Uh, this is his T680. Nice and clean too. Did you wash it today or what? No, I didn't. I thought it was dirty. Mine. I wash it Friday. 
Friday. I washed mine this weekend, but it's this lot. It's so dirty. And my engine fan kicks up so much dust. That's the only way it gets dust on it, because the engine fan kicks on and then just dust everywhere. Do you have AC? Do you have AC on? Yeah, I do. That's probably why. I don't really need it on with this weather already, but I guess I could turn that off. I just like it cold. Yeah, this is my favorite T680. Empty, buttoned up, ready to go. He's empty, thanks for your help. Help me get my trailer ready to go and headed back for another one. For lucky, he says, maybe we can get loaded today. I think it'll probably be tomorrow morning, but depends how late they load at the shipper. 4.30, I think. 4.30. All right, and we're out of here. How long were we here for? 30 minutes exactly. Perfect. Be careful not to get in anybody's way here. Get ourselves back on Interstate 29 northbound. Forks Flying J again. I think I'm going to take a break from the walk today. Not because I want to, because I really don't. But my feet uh, have got some pretty good blisters on them because <laughs> they're not used to walking. And I'm not wearing very good walking shoes either, but that's beside the point. I want to get my feet a little bit more callous. So I'm gonna stop here and have a shower and uh, I'll see how I feel afterwards, but I think I'm gonna give it a day just to rest my feet. Just a day though. We'll see how, we'll see how they are tomorrow. I'm not gonna let that become a habit. So today will be a, a rest day. We'll go walking tomorrow. I just got my load offer sent through for tomorrow. We're going down to Wapton, uh, North Dakota tomorrow. It's a little bit further down. It's on the other side of Fargo. So we're gonna get loaded in the morning again. And then head down there, unload, and then run up to Fargo, probably park up the Flying J there. And then we'll walk around Fargo for a little bit there if I have the time. Unless they have a reload for me going back, but I'm pretty sure we're just going back and forth. Like we're uh, on a dedicated road for this week anyways, I think. I mean, that's not what they told me exactly word for word, but I'm pretty sure that uh, what's most important is that we get back for our next load. That's not that far anyways, so it's it's good. It's been a good week. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so it's two more days after that. We'll see if I keep going back and forth here or if they send me somewhere else. I don't really don't really mind. As long as I'm busy this week, because last week I had off and it wasn't really a planned time off. So this week I'm just hoping to stay as busy as possible. Some of you asked me if I have prescription shades in my comment section. And uh, yeah, I mentioned it in a couple of videos ago. It's okay if you missed it, but uh, I've got uh, prescription glasses now and prescription shades my eyes aren't really that bad but uh they definitely do make a difference in the crispness of the image around me like i had no idea because i can read everything just fine like in this parking lot flying a sign over there it's just at a far distance i guess i used to have like really really good vision 
really good 2020 vision, right? And I guess I forgot what that was like. <laughs> so I always just thought, oh, that sign's like way across the street. No one can read that. No one can read that. And then I got my glasses and I'm like, I can read signs four streets over now. Wow. <laughs> they do help quite a bit. They're just always dirty. Always dirty. How do you keep your glasses clean? Constantly cleaning my glasses. See, I'm switching over to my shades right now and I want these to be clean when I put them away so when I take them out later when the sun starts to go down I don't have to worry about cleaning them then. Oh, sorry, I gotta put the fancy little rag in there. And do I wash these things? Cause this is the little rag. Oh, and I just put my hands all over the lenses. <laughs> I'm new. This uh, cleaning rag came with my glasses. Now, do I wash it? Do I put it in the wash? How do I clean it? Do I throw it out? Is it disposable? Can't believe I did that. I just want to grab the lenses. It's a whole new lifestyle getting used to having glasses. That's for sure. Okay, first we put the little rag thingy in there. Then we carefully, holding the glasses in the center, place them inside, close it shut. And then we take my other case where I have my prescription shades in here. These are amazing. Pull them out. Oh, they're a little dirty too. Oh, come on. I don't put my... Glasses are always dirty. Always. It's gonna be my new thing that I always complain about. My glasses are dirty again. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just ate some Subway. <coughs> Make my throat a little phlegmy. Okay, we put this over here. <laughs> Everything is so crystal clear in like 4K. I totally forgot what it was like to be able to read signs like a mile away. Wow. I've always been farsighted, but then I switched to nearsighted. Now, Without my glasses on, everything in the truck here is crystal clear, crystal perfect. It's only once it starts getting to be about a quarter mile away, it starts getting a little bit fuzzy, and then a half mile away, it's a little fuzzy, and a mile away, there's no way I'm reading any signs a mile away. I'm looking at a building over there right now, but now, I feel like an eagle, you know? Like an eagle vision. I need to plug this in. Plug this in before we go. There we go. Set that's charging. There we go. Okay, let's go back up to Carmen. It's time to leave Grand Forks here. We're in no real big rush today. So let's sort of take our time a little bit. Hopefully I can get out around this guy. Got some big tires on there. I think I can make it. Oh yeah, no problem. Gotta be careful with these trailers though because they have such a long tail end. I can't slide the axles on these slab beds and the rear end hangs over quite a bit. That's for uh, just weight distribution with loading and stuff. That's just where the axles are. You gotta be very careful when you make sharp corners because the rear end of the trailer swings outward. And if you're not careful, you're gonna hit the next truck beside you if you pull out of your spot too sharp. He's not gonna be very happy about that. Guarantee it. That's one way to tick someone off real fast. Hit their truck. Ah. Put that down there. What's that way? I've never gone that way on this road before. There's no, oh, there is a sidewalk going on. Maybe we can walk that way next time. It seems like it's the end of town, right? 
just open fields. This is a whole new business development by the looks of it. All right, let's go. 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 This is that red light we were at yesterday where that pickup truck drove right through the red light. You remember that? You see that? Oh, it's red again. I gotta turn left up ahead, so just make my way into this lane. Okay, you see there on top of this light, there's a, there's a blue light up there. And from what I've gathered from your comments on yesterday's video, that's for law enforcement. If they're on that side of the light, when the light is red, that blue light turns on on top of the lights. That lets people in all directions know that this light is red. So when that pickup drove through here yesterday, if there was a cop sitting over there, he would have known that that guy drove right through the red light. I don't know why he did that. That seems so random, right? Why, why would someone just drive right through a red light in broad daylight? It wasn't an emergency vehicle. And then, I knew he wasn't in a hurry because when we came over the hill here, the, there's a traffic light at the, the, the avenue down there, right? He stopped for that red light. He didn't dare go through that red light. Maybe there's a cop sitting at that one. What, what would make people want to just blow a red light like that right in front of everybody when right beside a trucker who's obviously most likely got a dash camera? Or possibly even a camera strapped to his head. Like if he would have looked over at me, he would have seen I have a camera on my head. You really want that on YouTube, man? <laughs> Flashing yellow means yield. That's the same thing as a solid green light in Manitoba. In North Dakota, they make it a flashing yellow, which means you can turn left, but beware, because this pickup truck coming here has a green light and he's not going to stop. I could have gone, but... I decided to be a good man. Oh, that sunshine is nice. commented on my video yesterday saying that they'd never seen a an 18 speed with a blue splitter neither have I mine's gray like every other 18 speed that's how you know it's an 18 speed because it has a gray splitter right here a 13 speed has a red splitter and I think it's a 15 speed or so or somewhere in between there has the blue one but no mine's gray it's not it's it's not blue First things first, just got back into Canada. They gotta see if I've lost any weight. I think they're gonna be pretty proud of me. I had to have lost at least a pound. I mean, I was hoping to be able to scale myself first, but whatever, they wanna see first. They're anxious to know. I've been doing my walking, but today I didn't, so maybe I'll get to walk in Carmen yet. My foot's feeling a lot better now. Things like that usually heal up pretty quick, you know, and I don't like that, I don't like to let that stop me from achieving what I want to achieve. But I'm pretty sure the scale house guys are gonna be, uh, they're gonna notice that I'm lighter, that I've lost some weight. All right, we're gonna look at that sign up ahead. They want us to go onto the scale. They're gonna flash that next axle sign. There it is. Okay. Put our steer axle on here. I'm in. Like my trailer's empty, so all he's gonna want to do is uh, read my my decals, my plates, all my numbers. Make sure that's all good. Make sure nothing's hanging off my trailer. There you go. See, green light. Told you they'd be impressed. 
no overweight tickets for me. I've been trying to walk every day. so much weight Josh you no longer have to enter our weigh scales that'd be nice there is a stop sign here which throws me off because it's way over there on the right sun has set one more time time to put this together for you and then go to bed it's 9 30 right now i got here uh oh, an hour or two ago and they won't start loading us until 8 30 tomorrow morning again so we have, uh, like a, we have a little bit of time again tonight which is perfect i have time to put this together for you then i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the thumbs up button i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>